One of the most striking features of the James Webb Space Telescope is the sun shield, probably because it's about the size of a tennis court. Now that's too big to be sent into space that way, so at launch it's in a folded up configuration. When the James Webb Space Telescope reaches its destination one million miles from Earth, the sun shield is then deployed. Different contractors are working right now to gather on a mechanism or several mechanisms to control the sun shield's deployment. One of those is Northrop Grumman's Astro Aerospace here in Carpinteria, California. One of the lead project engineers here at Astro Aerospace is Larry Heinlein. Hey Larry, so what exactly are you guys working on here? This is a mid-boom assembly for the James Webb Space Telescope. So what exactly is a mid-boom assembly? So there's one base tube mm -hmm. and there's five deploying tubes. The five deploying tubes deploy out and as they deploy out they unfold the layers of the sun shield. And you have separate tubes because? Because during launch it needs to stow within about five feet of, of length and when it's fully deployed it's about 25 feet. But on the end of that boom is a five foot long spreader bar which the sun shield layers are attached to. Oh okay. That puts the layers of the sun shield in position, right? That's correct. Okay. Kind of reminds me of an antenna of sorts. Yes, yeah, so it kind of looks like your uh, old-fashioned deploying antenna. So Larry, how do you make these tubes extend? Well, inside the carbon graphite tubes is something that we call the stem deployer. And Tim Martinez will help explain that. This is called a stem deployer, mm -hmm. and this mounts to the bottom of the base tube. Mm -hmm. And this is what drives the assembly and pushes the tubes up. And the way it works is that it pushes this material called stem mm -hmm. out, and it, the concept is like a tape measure. So when it's uh, coming out, it becomes round, but when it's around the spool that's inside, it's flat, and there's a motor that drives the whole thing out. It doesn't feel very heavy, and, but it's strong? Yeah, it's, it's made out of a very thin sheet of uh, corrosion-resistant steel, mm -hmm. um, but that's what's, what's great about it. It's really light, but it can push up 100 pounds, and then there's also a requirement to pull back, and so you, it can actually pull back 400 pounds. And why would you even pull back? Once the booms are completely deployed, mm -hmm. it pulls back and the tubes are connected to a cable which tensions the whole sun shield and separates the five membranes. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Behind the Web.